I'm here with Alta Gracia Perez from the Diocese of Los Angeles. She is a church, Episcopal Church Foundation fellow working on her PhD. Could you tell us a little bit about your work? Yes, um, I'm a student at Claremont School of Theology. Um, I'm in practical theology with an emphasis in religious education. And part of what drove me to go to school was the lack of resources for congregations that are dealing with issues of diversity. So that there's sometimes some things that are in English and Spanish, rarely. I've done a lot of translating during my 20 years of ministry. Um, and then there are all, there's, but there's very few resources that allow people to learn about each other culturally, to understand differences that occur because of socioeconomic situations, to understand how to be inclusive around issues of sexuality, race, gender, um, physical ability. And so my goal is to study and to um, find what resources and methodologies are the most useful for lay leaders who seek to build that kind of congregation in our urban centers, which are so very diverse. Um, we'll also, I'm hoping also to talk a little bit about, <clears throat> excuse me, to talk a little bit about um, issues of pluralism in terms of engaging leaders of other faiths and other traditions to do some of the justice work that parishes do in the inner city. So how, how, what is your hope for sharing what you, lear what you learn and sharing across the church? Is that one of the expectations of the fellowship? Well, it's definitely an expectation of my project. Um, when I walked in, I thought I was going to clearly just, I'm going to create a curriculum, and everybody's going to have a curriculum, something that they can use and adapt to their different contexts. But as I've done research, I found that there's very little material available that really brings together um, a theological bent on liberation and liberative pedagogy. So I would have thought that in the 25 years I was away from school, somebody would have made that connection more clearly, but apparently not. So um, my thought is that I will have to talk some about why this is the gospel, why this is the good news, um, how it is that these methodologies and the way that we do church, the way that we train, the way that we develop and form our leaders is in itself the way that we share the gospel with other people. And then I'll still do a curriculum so that people have actually something concrete that they can use in their local contexts. Where, where are you in the process? How many? So I'm halfway through um, in my own time frame. My goal is to do the program in four years. <clears throat> I've completed two years of coursework and I'm currently entering my comprehensive exam year. And, um, and I'm still part-time at the parish, which is a bit of a challenge at Inglewood, but the folks at Holy Faith are wonderfully supportive and um, it really is a collaborative effort. Tell me a little bit about how they inform your work, the people you work with in your congregation. <clears throat> Um, Holy Faith is the congregation that I'm writing stuff for. Um, they were very inclusive in working on issues of um, justice way before I got there. I think they hired me because we matched. Um, but it's a congregation that has folks from many different countries, Africa, in Africa, in Latin America, here in the States, in the Caribbean. Um, there are at least four languages spoken in the congregation and we worship in two. Um, there are people who are doctors and sit on the board of the hospital and folks that are day laborers and clean houses and are nannies. Um, people who have many degrees and people who are undocumented. And we all worship together and work for justice together in the same place. And so finding resources that help bridge the gaps. I mean, they, they love being together and they love celebrating their diversity, but moving it beyond the sharing of cultural ideas and stories and really equipping people to understand how racism and classism and sexism and homophobia destroy community and how we can go across those gaps. Um, I have no materials. You know, I've had to kind of, from anti-racism training, learn some things, from cultural sensitivity, learn some things, from, you know, community organizing, learn some things and throw them together to do the training for people to be able to be equipped to work together and to reach out. Um, and so, <clears throat> I'm writing it for them and for churches like them. And it's nice that a lot of urban churches, I mean, it's exciting that a lot of urban churches see this as their call to be engaged across lines of difference and to reach out in the community, reflecting an inclusive kingdom. And so um, I hope to be of service to them and to the wider church. Thank you so much. Thank you.